Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are in March and we have been a bit busy here so we've got a lot of work to do. First of all we've been finishing off the what's it the bathing of the hay but also let's have a quick look at our animals because also in this episode we bought Stonebridge Farm and we filled it up with a bunch of animals. Got a bunch of beef cow here, which are very young calves, but by the time they get to their maturity age, I think it's around 18 or 24 months, a peak, or is it 36? Something on those lines. Regardless, they'll get us a lot of profit. Also, we've got bunnies, just for experiment. And also, we've got a bunch of sheep in already. We've almost got a thousand litres of wool. But yeah, so anyways, we've got to do planting today. It is planting season and got a lot of work to do there. But yeah, so let's go and have a look over here a sec. Where we've got the hay, so in that episode, I did say it was going to get about 10 bales, 10 to 12 bales. For about 10. But if we have a look here, we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 bells, so not too bad. At 16,000 years each, that is an astounding 144,000 years of hay. And that's going to be useful because I think in the next episode, I think, or two for sure, we're going to be doing a lot of TMR work because we need TMR for the cows. They're running out of food. But yeah, so on to the planting. We bought a bunch of fields, so we've got 52, 53, 55, and all that. And this ant over here that we done the hay in the last episode. Yeah, I'm thinking on this field here, maybe do fill beans or something. I'm not too sure. But yeah, so if we have a look at the crop window, we can do our grains now. But also, fill beans. And I'm tempted to do, on one field, a special crop like sugar beet. But yeah, so on this field, by the farm, we're going to do fill beans. Along with 106, 107, and 54. And that's going to be all fill beans, because it has to be going to be learned in June. We're going to get a lot of money from it. At 53 and 55, been thinking of doing some grain. We could do wheat, but we're going to be missing the window. Tempted to do oats as we're doing over here, but that's going to be for the horses mainly. But I'm thinking of doing, I don't know, barley or something, or rye. Yeah, actually, I'll do rye in those two fields. The field over here by the grain mill, that's going to be filled beans, but the reason why I got getting the grain mill soon is because all of the wheat, barley and oats we can get flour from but on court farms we can also get rye flour and I'm pretty sure I can't get no flour of another type or another variety so yeah I'm thinking if we get a bunch of grain in diversify we can have a buckload of flour and then when we head down the road go to the bakery area and we can get bread from it but yeah 45 first of all I was thinking of doing rapeseed or like canola and that because we was going to get that bigger field on top next to it but obviously we had to change the plans of what fields we are going to go with so yeah I'm thinking uh, do a different crop corn maybe but I'm thinking you know what? Let's do sugar beet instead. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do sugar beet. Something a bit different. Because, yeah, potatoes, we'll be doing that on by spring. So, yeah, if we end to uh, the store a sec. Which is over here. So, yeah, under beet technology, it's not under here at the moment. Don't think I've got the mod enabled, but it's something I've looked recently. And it's something like this, like the Grimmy WH200S, a variety of that. I think it's like the Lizard Z something Ordic. 
bit of you know, your, like, your rustic Polish equipment that you use. And yeah, that's what we're going to be using that to pick up the sugar beet. And what I'll do, I'll pick it up, put it on the ground, and then we just have to pick it up with, I don't know, a weirdo or something, or maybe even the, like, the Desert Forge pickup. May you sound instead. Yeah, you could go with it, your typical sugar beet equipment that the base game provides, but I want something a bit different. So, anyway, so let's go into the crops. Try to think of what crops can we do with the cedars and planters, because I'm not sure if you could do, like, yeah, I'm pretty sure we could do the field beans. Yes, we can. We could do the field beans and that with the planter, and according to that one, we could do canola for some level reason. But yeah, so fill beans and everything has all got to be planted in March. So if we could do that, then we can harvest it around, what was it, August, September and that. Obviously, if we did winter barley and all that, we could harvest that in July. But yeah, it's one of those things. We missed the window to do it last year. That's because we had a lot of work to do in that. And variety of reasons which I'm not sure why. Plus well a lot of these new fields we didn't have them at the time. We were sitting on for that loan application from the bank to get that massive one point three six five million pound loan what it is. Or along to something like that, I can't remember exactly for sure. And oop that is the map boundary. And that's actually another thing as so well I do like this map like Court Farm and some other maps. It's like the boundary it's just, it goes on. There's no like distinct off. Here's the map. You can play on this map. And then there's some like weird, not re rendered, obscure texture in that of a vague boundary in that. Obviously, Oxy ain't one for it as well. You got things like GB Modding, I think he does Six Ashes on FS19 and Asinum Park. That's what's that Nancy boy with some of his maps like Sting Valley and his recent map American Falls. But yeah, so anyways, now what we're going to be doing is, first of all, a lot of work on this field. We've got, what we're going to do is plough it up because this was a grass meadow. So we need to plough it up, lime it, stone pick it, and even maybe have to roll it to get that seabed in. Not too sure if we could do that. I think we'll risk having the effect on the yield if we didn't roll it to get that perfect seabed in. Yeah, it will make it a bit difficult to work on, but you know what? I'm going to work on that. But yeah, so anyways, this is going to be a lot of work to do. And if we do without smashing the fence in. But yeah, anyways, we'll get us done. And I'll see you folks in a few moments.
go, we are done. It took us all morning. This field is prepped as to see. Apart from being fertilized, but that we can worry about later on. But it's been plowed, it's been lined, and it has been stone picked. So already we had a full load with the stone picker. And we've got an additional 435 litres, so that is 2,935 litres. And yeah, that'll go back into the stone crusher, get some lime, and I'll get a little bit of extra money coming in. Also, I did forget to mention on top of the episode of where I see our money's gone up, so in the time lapse, you'll see at the end. Either some images or clips of us doing some furs and contracts. And yeah, I've got pretty decent money out of it. Including one contract where we gave them some fertilizer in return. And they paid us for that fertilizer respectively, so... Say as you wish on about that, but I think... Yeah, it was a fair deal. Made a bit of a tiny profit from that. But you know what? It is what it is, so... Yeah, we're down to 36 grand now. And actually, I'm thinking we can start repaying off some of this loan, so. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. sure. Pay 3 grand, or 35 grand, average down to 1600 quid left. Yeah, that is a bit of a hmm, moment there, but. Don't worry, we get our money back, because remember, we've still got the field beans to sell in the summer, oh no, sorry, in sp late spring, early summer, I think it's around June's the best price for them, so, yeah, actually overall ain't too bad, so I think we've got like 60,000 litres and, when we say at its peak price, we'll get about a quarter of a million, and that's just from some small fields and that, I wasn't, well, we'll say small fields, that's just from one by the green mill, and I think the one by the farmyards here, so... But yeah, we're gonna go all out on the beans this year. Along with the grain, so we have to fill beans and that. They'll sell in June next year when we plant them in this episode. And also we got the grain, we'll get the wheat and all that, and that'll be converted into flour. And then from that we'll get bread respectably. So if we have a look here, so look at our production is bread. It's a two to one ratio flour to bread. And then if we go down there and have a look, actually is it worth making bread or what? So peak price for flour is two thousand pounds. Bread is five and a half grand, so yeah, it's worth doing that. And we're going to be harvesting the wheat and all that as early as July. And I think for like the rye nat, it's the same window. Yep. So if we plant it now, the rye, we'll be harvesting that in September. So yeah, August to October, it's going to be a busy month for us. Ideally, don't to do wheat again because that will mean. It'll be September when we'll be harvesting. And what's the ratios? So yeah, suit one, so we we'll get about two thousand euros of bread per month. So yeah, anyways, what we can do now is return soon picker. We did incur a hour lease on it, which is a bit of a shame. But now it's time to do the planting, so I think whilst we're here, we'll put the fill beans on. So, is that fill beans? Yeah, that is fill beans. So, sort of recap fill beans, fill beans, fill beans, and fill beans. Thinking these could be barley, barley, barley. Down here, I'm thinking fill beans. Here, fill beans. And up here is going to be the sugar beet. So, since we've all that planned out, it's going to take 
I didn't get all done in one episode, that's for sure. Also, we're in March still, so whatever feels to be planned in March, you want to have them rolled as well in March as well, because otherwise, that's where we set the growth state. But yeah, we've got the fence, lights on. As usual, we have our pre planting check zone. All the hoses are connected, pitches on and secured. Have a look here at the furrows and the wheels. They look good. Tubes connected to the hopper. Looks all good. Yep, a little bit dirty in that, but. I'm not too worried about. If it gets too dirty, then we will give it a quick wash, but turn this on. Make sure there's no air leaks. No, all good, no leaks, no nothing. And we are seeding. Or planting technically, this is so. I think if we, I should also, sugar beet, so plant it now, we'll harvest that in October, so that's good then, so we have a uh, window off, everything's not going to be ready at the same time, everything's going to be sort of spaced out, which is good, so I said come harvesting time, we can focus on doing contracts as well, not just our own harvest, so... And that's going to be the crucial thing here, is... Having that window off where we can do our own harvest and that. But also, we can do contracts for other farmers and that, because... Yeah, remember, last year we did so many rain contracts, we got 3 million litres of... straw. As we fit a pylon, good, we're starting off well, starting off on a high, because it's a direct drill, we'll go over those bits we forgot to cultivate in that, and dang it, that's another pylon, stop hitting the pylons, then boy, but yeah, overall, going alright so far, should have enough seed. If not, we can always buy some. Well, yeah, can we buy some more? Buy what we can with our 1600 quid, but yeah, perhaps giving all that money back to the bank was well, a bit of a mistake, but I'm sure there'll be contracts popping up for seeding or fertilizing. So if we have a look. Look at the soil, so not that. Yep, so a few fields need to be seeded and planted, so. No, that's ours there. So, yeah, got some big fields. So yeah, got all the big fields still to do. And, yep, so they could be wanting grain, or they could be wanting things like corn, sunflower, and soybeans, which will be in April or May. Or whatever it shall be. But, anywho, oh, bloody hell, I'm hitting everything today. Come on, we've done the heading now, there's no more things to hit, so. As we just scrape the barn again. Barn, shed, little shed, that is. But, anyways, we'll get this all done. And I'll see you folks when we are done with this. And then we'll start doing some rolling, I think.
there we go, so not quite completed the seeding of the field beans. However, we are one stuck at the gate. That's the problem with areas. Navigating through the gates. Nope. Let's hit that. Nope. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Come on. There we go. Get perfectly aligned. Got me screwed there on the bump, so we'll correct that. But yeah, so as I was saying, we are pretty much out of sea. We've got 132 litres left, and we've still got two fields to go. We've got the big field down here, and we've got this one up here by the green mill. So yeah, what we need to do now is top this up with some seeds. Oh, is that tank thing? Oh, well, that's derelict and not in use, and... Oh, that's in the way. Come on. What we're going to do is just scoop this out of the way. So, yeah, we've got two fields to go. I'm still got the wrong to do, but... Yeah, it's just gone half past two. I think it's time for a spot of lunch soon, so... We'll have lunch in a bit. Whilst we're here, let's give the cows some more stroll. There we go, there's still a bell in there. There we go. But yeah, so I think next time what we do is start doing the... I won't finish this off, but... Yeah, get some TMR being made, because we do need TMR. Yeah, this is the limits of big tractors and big fields, so... Well, big tractor and not big fields, but big equipment. Because what's catching is these walls here. If they were just chopped off now, it'd be perfect. Fit for the gate's fine. But new, so... Bear with me a sec here. There we go. No issues whatsoever, so... As I was saying, it's lunchtime. Actually, fairly, it's getting towards pre evening, so it was almost supper in a few hours, but I think we're going to be working into the evening on this, so. Anyways, we'll get this topped up with seed. There we go, just get positioned under the auger pipe. There we go. That's filling up nicely, and how much seeds we've got? Ooh, 3600 there, so... Just gonna take most of it. Well, hopefully we don't need more seeds. Also, might as well up a little bit, because that's because we sold the line. Yeah, only a thousand years left, so... How much is it gonna be for seeding that, so... For a thousand litres, we're kind of at 800 quid. Free run for that, it's a bit expensive. Waiting for like the bigger bags of seeds, we're looking at 2,700 quid. So, we've got enough money to buy another bag of seeds if we need to. I think for now, we're going to have some lunch, so let's go and quickly pop over here. And give us all a little quick wash. Because obviously we're going on the roads now, so we do need to be courteous of the locals, including car drivers. But more importantly, the more valuable road users like motorcyclists, because the last thing I want is to chuck a bunch of mud on the roads. And then, you know, from motorcycles come along and potentially not see it. And get caught out and have a moment, because, oh, oh, trust me, as a motorcyclist, that's one of the worst things you could ever imagine, is going through a bend, now, especially a bend, especially if it's been raining, which here in the UK does rain a fair bit, let's say, that's just one thing it's quite known for, is the weather and that, so, 
Well, yeah, that's the mud washed off. So there we go. Did the water turn out as well. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, this is a like, 12 meter, so. Well, the length of the tractor, which is like, what, 2 meters? 2, 3 meters? Plus there, so 15 meters of maneuvering. Clip a stone wall here and there. So yeah, navigation around the yard and that can be difficult, but can be done. This is an issue as big as we can just about get away with, depending on what field we're going into and the route. So thankfully, the Grey Mill is essentially up the road and into the Grey Mill. Why turn in? May have some difficulties down there at our new field, but. Anyways, that's where we're going to leave it today, so yeah, we're going to have some lunch, and in the next episode, we've got TMR to make, also to finish off the planting, so, got a fair bit of work to do, there's one of things, it's always in the day's work, there we go, take our boots off, and yeah, we'll have some lunch, so yeah, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode, if so, Smash that button, feel free to down below. If you want to share please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, it's me from Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon. Ooh, donuts.